have no idea what to do for this video, so I thought it would be fun to try some viral art tutorials from TikTok because obviously this has never been done before. I actually found them on Pinterest. Wait, is that mine? It is mine. Damn. Yeah, so I found them on Pinterest, but they're originally from TikTok. And I will voice over the video so I don't get a copyright strike. Not today! This one is a 3 quarter nose tutorial. Oh, I love drawing nose. Okay, right away, I found Indonesian comments. Aku yakin tidak semudah itu sayang. Which translates to, I am sure it's not that easy, honey. Well, we will see, Leon. We shall see. But first, I will prepare Al Haytham without his nose. He looks pissed. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you a new one. Okay, let's watch it. Add an S. Whoa, 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 slow down. Add an S. Okay, I'm drawing an S. Is this S? Add an inverted triangle, shade for the depth, and outline the nose shape. We're drawing inverted triangle, and then shade, and then outline the nose. Sketch the nostril and septum. What the hell is a septum? Oh, it's the... Is it the underside of the nose? Okay. Now, reindeer. What? It is this reindeer? Keep cleaning and adjusting if it looks weird. So I will just render the way I used to. Add highlights at the dorsum, columnella, and beside the... Uh, okay, look. My brain is not that advanced to understand all these biology words. So, this is a picture of nose anatomy of some sort. So, you can look at it and then learn it okay but anyway we are adding highlights i'm just going to add highlights according to the original artist filtrum oh i know what filtrum is side note for filtrum you know sometimes when you add filtrum it doesn't look good and if it doesn't just leave it out okay it's it's not worth it but if you want to add filtrum just make sure it's very subtle or highlights now do the eye. Okay, hold on, I'll hate them. There we go. Yes, that is beautiful. Okay, no, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He's mad. Well, I like how the nose turned out. It's quite easy to follow along. And you can learn some nose biology terms for your exam. Thank you, Moon Sophie, for this tutorial. Be sure to check their account. Their content and art are great. Okay, I think this next one is pretty simple. Hard to color hair? Yes. Lazy to erase it? Definitely yes. Wait, what? Can you do that? Can you really do that? Special and then click little gear, lasso fill. Okay, we have to try this out ourselves. Here I have a sketch of Al Haytham in a suit. Yes, it is the sketch of the previous drawing. I think you should create another layer below your sketch before adding the base color. Yeah, that's common sense, right? Okay, so pick special, click on the little gear, click on the lasso thing, make sure to choose the fill one, and just follow along the sketch. Holy smokes! Sorry, I almost cursed. Okay, this works. This works really well. Some of you might be thinking, Fung just used the bucket tool! Yeah, the bucket tool is great and all, but it only works on neat line arts. If it's messy like this, the color just bleeds all over the place. So thank you so much, June01. It's really easy and really useful. Make sure to check them out on TikTok. They have a playlist right here if you're looking for more art tips. Now let's move on to the next one how you can do this window effect on procreate i'm sure we can do the same on ibis paint okay so it's like an x-ray thing when you can see underneath the original drawing like this cute character is actually unhinged for this i will draw al haytham in his workout outfit yes there will be a lot of al haytham in this video you're welcome i colored the grayscale painting in procreate because i didn't have any luck coloring it in ibis paint but i went back to ibis to add details and refine the painting i'm sure all of you can already guess what we're gonna draw underneath his shirt that's right his undershirt I will draw it on top of the original layer first and paint the exposed skin, also adding some details. So I drew a phone using mine as a reference, that's why it's all wonky and shit. Okay, so the first thing to do is select the area. I have made a selection. Okay, create a mask on your top layer. Where is mask? Mask. Um. Where is it? Okay, after some googling, it seems that Ibis Paint doesn't have a mask function. There is clipping mask, but that's a different type of mask. You guys can let me know if there's actually a mask function in Ibis and I just missed it. So back to Procreate, we go. Okay, so I have create a selection and then mask. Wait. 
Oh wait, that's not where I supposed to mask. It's supposed to be on the original layer. Okay, click invert so only the window will be see through. Invert it. Wait, it's not working. Wait, hold on. Wait, am I stupid? I will just watch the tutorial until it's finished first. Now to show this effect in action, only select the window layer and the mask layer. Oh, I'm supposed to select this two layer. Oh, now it works. Yeah, that's right, I'll hate them. We can see your undershirt. And I seem to have forgotten to draw your other hand. But that's fine, we can still see other things. Yep, he is very unhappy. Okay, okay, we will stop. Well, thank you, Chris Seal, for such a cool tutorial. Be sure to check them out on TikTok. You guys should try this out too, because it's really a cool effect. And your friends will definitely get jealous. By the way, if there are tutorials you'd like me to try out, let me know in the comments. I kinda wanna make this a series, you know? Let's Let's call it learning from others on TikTok, which I actually found on Pinterest. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. For this tutorial, I will prepare the sketch of Feral Alhatem. If you guys remember that moment Alhatem become corrupted, this is kind of like that. Cafe is scared. This sketch will be useful for the tutorial after this one, so keep that in mind before saying Fong is into teeth! So I found my line art tutorial on Pinterest, and we will see if I can follow my own tutorial, because if not, it's uh, kind of bad news for my channel. How to draw perfect line art? First, oh, uh, oh, uh, what is that voice? Gross! I'm having an existential crisis right now. Prepare your sketch. Yes, it is very ugly. Clean up your sketch. Trust me, this will make your life so much easier. I don't know about this is so much, but it is easier to line art after cleaning up your sketch because you can fix mistakes and draw neater shapes so it's less confusing during line art. I use this brush right here and I still do. This one mm -hmm. and turn on the stabilizer and also for only five stabilizer? What an idiot you need at least 10 you disappointment five stabilizer what are you trying to achieve this will make sure your lines are stable draw one clean line for big parts like the face and then connect it with teeny tiny line okay so yeah for big parts like face and then hair it's a good idea to just draw one quick swipe of the line if you like clean line art make sure to draw like one quick line for every big parts of the drawing get to clean it up Make thicker lines for the eyes. For the hair, you need to zoom out, use bigger brush, and draw confident lines. So when I say confident lines, it's the same, just draw one quick swipe of the line. That's why the stabilizer really helps so much, because it will stabilize your lines even if you have like super shaky hands like mine. Ink for shadow under the chin, under the lips, and under the hair. So this ink that I'm talking about in this video with my gremlin voice is kind of to indicate the darkest shadow in your drawing. And it adds depth and dimension to your overall artwork. I will add some of this ink to some parts of the hair as well, especially the overlapping parts. Hatchings with a small brush for the hair as well. Watch this video to learn. Hey, that's pantalone. Anyway, hatchings. I will add some as well. In line art, hatchings can indicate softer looking shadows. I normally add it on the nose and below the dark ink. That is all from past Fong and her golem voice. Now we can move on to the next tutorial. So this one is how to color teeth and mouth. I normally draw characters with their mouths closed because I don't know how to draw teeth and I am scared of leaving my comfort zone. So I've done the base color and it seems that they apply shadow all over the drawing with multiply, so I'll do the same as well. They're also using purple to shade, which creates a beautiful shadow color, so let's do that too. shadows and blend okay it seems they're using a smudge tool to blend i don't usually use smudge tool in ibis paint because i don't really like their effect but for the sake of this video i will try to use the smudge tool select light areas and then erase that's a quick and clever way to create hard edges for your shading hard edges create dimension and a sense of realism in your painting you can also do the same for the shadows as shown by Senio here i'm still not used to drawing teeth and i'm not sure how many front 
human teeth a human has. If you're not used to drawing teeth like I am, it's better to keep the teeth simple and less detailed as possible because it can look uh, unsettling. Sinio seems to have a lot of experience drawing teeth, that's why they're able to add details without making it weird. But even then, notice that they didn't line out the teeth all the way and they kept the shadows mostly subtle. The next step is coloring the lips and tongue, so I will do that real quick, and then color the line art. I really suggest you guys try coloring your line art, it is such a game changer. Okay, wow! Thank you Shanio for the tutorial, be sure to check them out on TikTok, their art is just amazing. That was so much fun. Again, if there are tutorials you'd like me to try out, let me know in the comments. 2023 is coming to an end. I wanna thank you all for your support throughout the year. I cannot wait to bring you more content in 2024. Happy holidays everyone and bye!